These are laundry balls. They supposedly give you thousands of loads of laundry without detergent, but do they really work? I'm gonna get to the bottom of it in today's video. This is Crystal Wash, which is probably the most prominent, well-known version of these laundry balls. A bit expensive, I paid 57 bucks for these two. This is a cheap one on Amazon. I think I paid about 11 bucks for this one. All the laundry balls work under the same principle where they say they have these beads in there that changes the pH of the water that allows you to clean your clothes without detergent. Of course, there's been a long line of problems with these. Some of these companies were fined back in the 90s. Um, I'll go over that a little bit later, but what I'm gonna do is crack these open and uh, get started. And for this video, I'm not just comparing two different laundry balls. This is a four-way test. The other contestant is some regular detergent, and the final contestant is just water. So if these don't outperform one of those two, then something's going on. First up, Crystal Wash. All right, it's, it's quite large. It's about the size of a softball. And it came with fresh lavender organic essential oil. I guess that's to add to your laundry so you get a scent to it. I got two of them for 57 bucks. A little ASMR here for you. This is contestant number one. Next up from Amazon. Aha. It's roughly the same size. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do first is try out the expensive crystal wash. <laughs> that wasn't very funny. I've got a brand new Hanes white shirt. Never been washed before, so there's no residual detergent. I'm gonna stain four different quadrants with four different items, toss it in the wash, and then I'm gonna literally rinse and repeat with all four of my choices. How about a little bit of dirt? One teaspoon of soy sauce. Ha, a little ketchup. I'll just rub it in just a little bit. One tablespoon of wine. Oh, all right, get this thing in the wash ASAP. The instructions say to put both of them in there, both of them. And we shall see. Do you guys think it's gonna work? I don't know. All right, my first round is going. I wanted to point out I'm doing these on warm water because I kind of did some research and they said that warm water was probably better, but I'll do everything in warm water and see what the difference is. Also, I got that shirt in the wash less than a minute after I put the wine on there, so they didn't have time for any stains to really set. So that's the parameters I'm going with them this round. So I got four shirts to do. The laundry's done, let's check it out. And what do we have? Oh, wow. It looks like the wine didn't come out hardly at all. The ketchup, pretty good. Dirt. So, so, and soy sauce, pretty good. Well, I, let's see how it compares to the others. It's kind of hard to really tell if this is good or not. So tomorrow I'll do the next shirt and then I'll compare. It looks like the wine was the biggest problem, but we got three more to go. So I'm not gonna really worry too much about the results till we have something to compare it to. So I can do this three more times and then we'll do a final comparison. So let's speed things up just a little bit with laundry ball number two. Dirt. I'll be curious to see if this is any better, if that one is any better than these two. Let's see how it went. Well, I want to see. And what do we have here? And it looks like a big old wine stain once again. Again, we'll compare all these when, I, when I'm done. I don't see a significant difference just at first glance, but we'll compare them side by side. We got two more to go. I've done the two laundry balls now and I've got two more tests, one with detergent, one without. I think I'm gonna try the first one without detergent because I don't want there to be any residual detergent in the washing machine. So the next one is gonna be just straight water and see if it's any better or worse. Here we go. Let's do it. And there we go, it's just warm water. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go now. I would not expect the water to do better than the laundry balls, but I, I'm wondering if it's gonna do worse or not. So let's see what we got. Let's see. Um, they all have a problem with that wine stain and they all seem to do pretty well with uh, everything else. I'm seeing kind of a consistent pattern here, but I've got one more to do this time with detergent. 
And that should outperform all these, shouldn't it? Let's find out. Go. All right, this is the last one. Let's go get it washed. Good stuff here. And now we wait. Are the clothes done yet, Bailey? Let's go check. Let's go check, Bailey. Here we go. And... Oh, wow. Oh, that one looks a lot better. Whoa, the detergent looks way better. Uh, <laughs> laundry balls work better, huh? This is, this is not a sponsor post by Tide, everybody. It just look how much better it looks. Now, it's not perfect. You can still see a little stain there, but it is better. Let's compare all four of these and see how they look. All right, here are the final results. What do you guys think? Contestant number one. Number two. Number three. And number four, the crystal wash, the two balls over here, the cheap one ball here, just warm water and tide. Let's take a closer look at all these. I kept them straight by putting in a little mark on each one of them. So number one was crystal wash for the two balls. The wine stain didn't come out so great. You can see a little remnant of the ketchup, but not too bad. There's a little mark here. I'm not sure if that's ketchup, if maybe it folded over in the wash or that is the dirt left over, but the soy sauce is completely gone. Overall, I don't know. All right, number. Number two is the, uh, the cheap laundry ball from Amazon. The wine stain is here. More ketchup remnant here. I'm not sure what that mark is. Could be wine that was transferred over. Uh, it, not a huge difference. I really don't see a significant difference. Maybe the shirt looks a little yellower right here to me. Look at the entire shirt. It's actually the one with just the one ball looks slightly better because there's a mark here in the crystal wash and not here. That could have just been a transfer of it being folded over in the wash. Hard to tell, but I'm gonna say the crystal wash at $57 didn't really blow me away. There's two of those and just one of these for 11. I don't see a significant difference. Now this one was washed just in warm water. No detergent whatsoever. Uh, there's, some, there's a mark here on the collar. The wine stain didn't come out. There's certainly a little bit of a residual ketchup stain here. The bottom of the shirt, I don't really see uh, too much. So uh, the, I don't see that the laundry balls really did that much better, to be honest. And finally, tied clearly better. I mean, it's it's actually whiter than the others. You can still see a little bit of the wine stain, but there's almost no trace of the ketchup. On the other side, no soy sauce, no dirt. Even though it's not perfect, the tied shirt's clearly better than all the other three. You can just see the difference in the color of the shirt. There is a difference. All the others look a little bit yellowish. This one looks white. All right, I know what some of you people are gonna say out there. As I get in every one of my reviews, I'm gonna get, that's not a scientific test. Well, guess what? Mine doesn't have to be. I have right here a list of a few places that have done research on these items over the last 20 something years, and they all agree with my results. Check this out. 1995, Consumer Reports tested discs like this and said they perform no better than plain water. The FTC said that Tests show that these gadgets do little more than clean out your wallet. They said at best it's marginally better than washing clothes in hot water. At worst, completely useless. Not, it's not just the US even. Countries around the world have also tested these out and come to similar conclusions. In Australia, in 1998, the Australian Consumer Association said they don't work better than cold water. In 2015, Choice Australia said they don't work. In Spain, in 2009, a consumer organization there tested these out and said they don't work better than plain water. In 2011, Spanish manufacturers were told to stop advertising these because they were found to be possibly less effective than just water. In Portugal in 2012, the Consumer Rights Council requested a ban on these products because they potentially don't work. An Italian consumer group in 2009 said they don't work better than plain water. In 2011 in Hong Kong, the Consumer Council there said these don't work better than plain water. So there you go. Maybe my test isn't scientific, but it kind of goes along the same results of all these other places that have been testing these over the years. Now, these places did not test these specific ones that I tested, but my results with these were pretty consistent with what other organizations and other studies have found. So, so sorry guys, you might be stuck with detergent for a while until something that actually works comes along. I would not get suckered into the advertising claims of these laundry balls. So I've got four shirts with stains in them, three pretty bad and one not so bad. So I'm gonna pull out this OxyClean White Revive and see if it can make a dent in these shirts. Let's check that out next. I'm mixing. I'll fully submerge them. Let it sit for six hours and then see what happens. Here they are after the OxyClean White Revive treatment. Now there's still a little bit of stains, but they're significantly better. Let's take a closer look at the, this was the crystal wash. 
Ketchup stain totally gone. The wine stain is significantly less. Nothing on that side. The cheap laundry ball. This seems to be the worst of them, but it might have been the worst to begin with. Again, no more ketchup stain. Lighter wine. Nothing on that side. The hot water only. Barely a stain. No ketchup. Nothing on the, uh, on the back side. And the one with detergent, it's kind of hard to tell if there's a stain or not. It's so light. All four of the shirts seem whiter than they were before. There was a significant difference between the detergent and the hot water and the others. Not much of a difference anymore. I'm actually the most impressed by the OxyClean White Revive. Even though it didn't get them 100% out, it made a pretty good dent. Those wine stains were washed and set, so uh, it definitely made a difference. So in the end, what do I think about these laundry balls? I don't think they really work. And yeah, this is just one test, but I defer to the experts who have been testing these over the years, and I'll add mine to the fray that they don't really work much better than regular water. Now, don't forget that I did four different quadrants. I mean, everybody's gonna focus on the wine stain because that was the worst, but the dirt and the soy sauce, all of them got out, not just the laundry balls, but just plain water and the detergent. So just as far as regular washing goes without deep stains, I think all of them did okay. Just regular water did too, but the detergent kept the shirt the whitest. As far as a deep wine stain goes, the OxyClean did better than anything else did. I would say OxyClean plus detergent is probably your best bet as far as what I tested. So I say, save your money on them, cheap or expensive, and just stick with detergent. And if your laundry isn't any that dirty, just use regular water. Have you used laundry balls? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go, and please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.